uh, imaging camera, which helps us see the temperature inside the smoke and, and uh, different fire conditions. And also, we can use it to search for victims with it. And then you also have a flashlight, which we can use to see inside of a uh, smoking environment and also see also what else is in front of us and all the other conditions. Uh -huh. Then here, it's the same thing I have to have around me, it's the portable radio so we can communicate with people on the outside and the inside. So we can all communicate and know what's all going on. Right. Then here we have our SCBA breathing apparatus, which we use on any hazardous incidents like fires or gas so we can breathe. So we don't breathe in any of the toxic chemicals or anything that's in the air. Okay. And this is the mask that we wear, but this one, this one was exposed to high temperatures. So this one's no more good anymore. Did it get melted? Yeah. These or masks are only good up to 70, 750 degrees before they start failing. Uh -huh. And, and uh, most house fires, at their max peak, they can reach about 1,000. And then, and then here we have a assortment of different helmets that we have from different members along a long time. Uh -huh. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about six years now. And what got you started? I just I just love being involved in my community and then it was close by so I'm like I'll check it out and then ever since then I've been hooked. Which house do you run out of? I run out of North End. Okay. I'm in the North End part of Pottstown. Alright. Thank you. Yep. And